What is up, JL Life? Modell here. Today, more XJ Love. Stay tuned. Let me show you what we're going to be putting in Jordan's Jeep today. So what we got here today is Oxbeam. They sent us a pair of amber amber lights. I gotta say, I'm actually he, I was not expecting these to to feel as nice as they do. Of course, it comes with two of them, and it comes with all the comes with a wiring switch. All the wires to get it set up uh, but we don't need the switch because Oxbeam was also very cool and sent us one of these a universal switch I mean it, it is what it is it's a switch system it comes with there you go all the different tags of what they are uh, it comes with a fuse box we got two fives two tens two twenties 230s uh, the thing about this system as is that it is universal it has a universal bracket uh, how we're going to get this mounted into the xj i don't know yet because it's not pre-fitted but this is going to be really nice inside of jordan's jeep hello i'm not going to show you how to do all the install because this is universal this won't actually apply if i show you a step-by-step -step how to install what we are going to do is get this into the Jeep. And then I'm going to show you everything and show you these lights. So because this switch system is universal, I'm going to show you kind of how it all got installed and linked up electronically, but nothing about this switch kit is specific to the XJ or even the JL for that matter. You just have to determine where you're going to put it. But let's show. So here we are in the cockpit of the Jeep. All you gotta do is just find a flat surface to mount the universal bracket to. You're gonna take the wire from the switch system and run it to where it's out of sight and going through the firewall. So the wire going from the switches themselves actually comes up into the cockpit after you go through the firewall and it connects to this switch right here which already plugs right into the fuse block. The fuse block, again, comes with universal mounting bracket where you can install wherever it'll fit. What's nice about this fuse block, it's relatively thin and compact, so it won't be a pain in the ass to squeeze anywhere. So you have the black switch going in and the red one coming out. What you do with the red one, it actually ties into your fuse block. Try not to break anything because it's really old parts in here. And it has a piggyback fuse that you just tie into. Just make sure it goes into one of the fuses that is activated when your ignition is on. If it's one that is constantly running, you're going to routinely have a dead battery. So you need to find something that only is activated when you have the ignition on inside of the cockpit of the vehicle. So from there, you have your negative and your positive lines. So they are marked at the base of the fuse block. You can see black, you can see red. What you do with these two, you run them to the battery. I ran them to fuse block, main. So you can either run this directly to the battery on the negative and the positive, a positive and the negative, or you can run it off of the power supply for the fuse block. Of course, the negative can be grounded onto bare steel the negative terminal on the battery uh, the positive can either go directly to the positive fuse jordan used the positive lead to his fuse block and from there it's all done it's installed it's ready to go and what you have to do is run accessories which is what this is to your negative and your positive each one is labeled four, three, two, one, five, six, seven, eight. Tells you which ones are negative, tells you which ones are positive. You just run your two wires and your accessory is good to go. So I wanted to show the switch system at night just to kind of highlight the, the backlit switches and just what it looks like. And of course, since we we're installing the amber lights, I had to show off those as well. Had a pretty solid pattern. 
So guys, that's it. It's all done. The install was super easy. It seriously took about an hour to do. All you gotta do is just find where you're gonna mount the switches. And what's nice about this switch system, it's really compact and it's really simple. You guys remember the video where we did Misty's S-Tech switches, they actually came with this really bulky box with all the relays in it. Even the Mopar switches has, it's much more condensed, but it's another big box full of relays. Well, the relays for this system are actually built into the fuse block. It's a solid state relay, so you don't even have to worry about two separate blocks to install like with some of these other systems, like this. This is what s -Techs look like. You have the six massive relays and of course the relays all stacked up. It's a very cumbersome box compared to the one of the Oxbeam. And I gotta say this switch system, as far as like the quality, I, I, I'm not disappointed with it. It's actually was really well built for what it is. It's a $180 switch system compared to my Switch Pros were $600 and I'm not bashing on the Switch Pros. I love my Switch Pros, don't get me wrong. But I also understand that not everybody is going to want to spend that kind of money on a switch system. This Oxbeam switch kit is a great alternative. It's waterproof. There's different colors. There's blue, green, and red, I believe it is. Being that it was an $180 system, I was not expecting the relays to be a solid state inside the fuse block. I was expecting this big bulky box just looking at the price. And that ain't it. So what's really nice about universal switches, I mean, all you gotta do is just install it like we showed today in any vehicle, whether that's gonna be a Jeep JL, a Cherokee. I plan on actually installing this in the J10 when I get around to working on it. I've just been busy. Give me a break. Furthermore, with the different colors, there's actually a six switch system and an eight. The six looks identical to the eight, except for two less switches. And of course, this switch system is waterproof, like IPX7, I believe it is. So you don't have to worry if you're riding topless in your Jeep and it gets wet, if it's going to break. That's not the issue because it's it's all self-contained, it's waterproof. And one of the other really nice things about a cheaper switch system, which gets overlooked when people start trying to part shame into more expensive switches, is switches fail. You can't overlook that. And this kind of goes into the $180 to replace the whole system if it can't be repaired compared to a $600 system, an $800 system, potentially a $1,000 system, they're out there. But switches fail and you can make that argument, well, I can just use a $5 switch from the auto parts store. Hey, more power to you, more complicated wiring and of course, I mean, it can look really clean, but it's just not as simple of a system like this. I'm very impressed with these Oxbeam switches even the lights, it's Oxbeam has seemed to come a great deal as far as the level of quality, at least from what I've seen from what they sent us for this video to what I've seen in the past. This was sent to us, I'm not gonna lie. That in itself is not changing what my opinion is about these switches. That also being said, we actually have an affiliates link and I've never done this before with all the companies that we've either worked for in the past or have just done videos with. We've been offered affiliate links before and I've always just tried to avoid, I'm not a salesperson, never been a salesperson, don't wanna be a salesperson, I just like making these videos and sharing my experiences. But I'm trying something different with this one. I accepted the affiliate link, so down below in the description, there's a link to Oxbeam. Anything that you buy there doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a 10% commission just being up front and forward with you. They are giving us a discount code to share with viewers of this video and of course our supporters and anyone actually inter interested in purchasing Oxbeam. Use the discount code JOLO, J-L-L-O. But guys, thank you for watching. And if you're into anything that does off-road, either in four or two wheels, this is the place for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Y'all, keep it easy.